fam welcome back to another vlog today i'm headed to the movies with my friends we're going to see avatar it's literally like two days before christmas at this point <laughs> but yeah we're going to see avatar and so i've decided that just to try to stay on track as best i can that it'd be smartest for me to pack a lunch for later because this movie's supposed to be like three hours long i know we're going to get snacks in the theater but i definitely want to just be eating whole and nutritious foods and trying to stay as close to my macros as possible it's the holiday season so i'm going to be indulging and having a bit of fun but you know i'm still trying to slowly clean up my diet and stick to the rules that i made myself at the start of this that's so hot i didn't i really overthought this hopefully it doesn't ruin the smoothie <laughs> smoothie for breakfast got my lunch packed for later um this is the chicken and the sweet potato i have asparagus in here cooking as well yeah just a protein smoothie to go i'm gonna use the greens inside of it as well and of course protein because it's a protein smoothie we are hoping this is good it smells yummy This is really good. Put everything right here. I did put a lot of stuff in this just to try to make sure it tastes pretty good. Almost 500 calories and 52 grams of protein. And then I also tracked the lunch, which is right here. So the same chicken, sweet potato, and I got asparagus. And I'm gonna have that later. And that is 752 calories. So both of these is already 1243. I don't even know why I set this camera up and why I laid the day like that. My friends apparently are next door at Asda grabbing snackage. Who made it in? Come on. You want to tell YouTube what you thought of the movie? Oh, I give it a six. Seven. For the storyline was dry AF. Was crying. No, I mean, it was just Gosh, in my feels. She's emotional. It's just my feels. You couldn't watch any of it. You couldn't even watch, you couldn't watch any of the fights. You know, oh my god, I was, I am any like this, like, of the killing. No. Any of See, that's the one thing I do. I really like the fight scenes. I'll say that. The fight scene is fine. It's when they were like hunting the, the whale thing. I couldn't do it. Yeah, that was sad. You know, Anybody from PETA watching this is probably raging right now. Yeah. Like, even though it's like, you know, fake animals. But she was saying, I said, this is real like, life. Oh. She was like, oh, Love her it was all right. I love the first one. <laughs> this one. Same also. 
That was cool. You know, you grown when you get to your friend's bathroom and you just admire her decor, okay? They bought and renovated this house and this bathroom is just spectacular. Like, spectacular. Hey. Huh? You know, what do you want me to do? To take it? What am I doing with it? I'm family. trying to get. I'm doing like a daily vlog thing. See, your friends are bad at this. None of us. Have, I have no idea what's going on right now. Look, say hi to YouTube. Is it recording? It is recording. I don't. I don't <laughs> okay. I don't give permission. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My enemies are off to me. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. That was so good. I know Vic was camera shy. I'm a camera shy. I'll put a big old blur anytime you're on camera on your face. Don't, I don't even my voice. <laughs> okay. Now you can keep my voice. Listen to him. Did you, like, we, we were in the restaurant the other day in Las Iguanas. Oh, yeah. We were recording and then they came and said, can you, well, actually just had it like. Oh, I was doing table. like a time lapse. Okay, I just said, well, you go take your time. So off. the waitress wasn't comfortable taking our order. The you know, it makes sense over. though. People doing these TikToks and pranking people and stuff. People don't want to be on camera. Yeah, then you're going to do something crazy. Yeah. But it was weird the way he came up to us. We were all like, what, what Yeah, I was like, well, who are you? He was like, hello. We were like, <laughs> no, I'm the manager. We were like, okay, where's this mm -hmm. going? I'm headed home. I had some candy. They ended up ordering dinner, which I skipped dinner, but I was snacking on candy. Which now, I think about it, it's probably a little worse. I probably should just have the rice with them. But whatever, it is what it is. I literally will be back here in two days for Christmas Eve, so. <laughs> Uh, I am happy though. I packed my food, I had my smoothie, and I had the meal, and it was around 1,200 calories. So with the candy I was snacking on, that probably was like 600 calories. So I'm definitely over for today, but nothing too crazy, nothing too drastic. That's all I've had, and I'm drinking a ton of water. The camera died. <laughs> I was mid-sentence, headed home, the camera died. I just got home, and my head hurts. You know, I think this is because the sugar I ate, the candies I it shouldn't have eaten. But it's whatever, it's not a big deal. Who is texting me? I drink this at my friend's house. And I'm gonna finish the rest of it, but my head is still hurting and I think it has to do, I think I'm crashing from the sugar, from the candy that I was snacking on. But yeah, it was a good time. Oh yeah, the movie. I mean, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad, you know, it was cool. But I was just, it's like, <sighs> It's like a regurgitated story. I kind of was hoping they would build and do a bit more. And this one I feel like didn't really add much to it. It was kind of the same thing. It was still entertaining, but for three hours, I was sitting in that theater for three hours, y'all. Oh, head hurts. I'm gonna try to drink more water. I'm kind of thinking of making a snack if I'm being honest. This is what happens sometimes. You just like, oh, I'm already off for today. I just, one more snack won't hurt. <laughs> Honestly, coming here, I was tempted to just buy a whole burger. But I'm like, that's crazy. I'm not trying to set myself back that much. And uh, yeah, but I probably will just get like a snack. Let's finish this water first. And then we gonna see how we feel it and what we saying. Yeah, this headache is bothering me. And I know it's from that freaking sugar. I know I'm just crashing right now. And that's also what's making me want to eat food. Cause I feel like I got a headache and I need to eat. It's a whole thing. I'm gonna go. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Head to the gym, clearly. So yesterday, <laughs> definitely over eight for my plan. On days when I do go over like what I was planning with a diet I'm trying to do, I don't stress about it. First of all, because I did pack the food for the movies, because I might have overeaten for what I was planning, but it still puts me in a caloric deficit for what my maintenance is. And even if I ate over my maintenance, there's still no reason to stress or worry. Like you just, I go about the next day and treat like a normal day. I had breakfast this morning. I'm gonna eat dinner later, head to the gym now. So I just wanna say that. The only thing I might do 
if I ate a ton of sugar or just anything, a bunch of oils and fats that made me feel a certain way, I might try to up my water intake, mainly because I don't drink enough water anyway. <laughs> I need to increase my water anyway <laughs> but yeah but I don't restrict the next day I just kind of treat like a normal day because yeah, I just want to remind you like if you ever do eat over from what you're planning if you eat a little more than usual even if you eat above your maintenance calories you might see the scale go up but it's not because of fat it's just fluctuations salt and water retention and that kind of stuff because to remember to actually gain a pound you have to one pound is the equivalent of 3,500 calories. So unless you're eating 3,500 calories over your maintenance, you aren't really, you're not getting weight. So yeah, go to what my day is normal, drinking some water, breakfast, dinner, and we're hitting the gym. No need to stress out if, if things don't always go according to plan. Just stick back to it the next day. Mom's at the gym. Hopefully you can hear me, it's kind of windy out. But yeah. That freaking wood keep happening. Uh, it's not the day. <laughs> my girl with confidence. My girl we run like hips and take a sip on it. Take a trip on it. When a girl who can go slow. Wind it up on night. Christmas Eve and I'm doing the whole thing with um, my friends. I need to get the food that I'm going to be cooking and the snacks I'm bringing because we're doing a whole collaborative thing, which is exciting. Oh crap, these are okay. I really thought, <laughs> man, this place must be packed if all these are gone. Down one. Oh, I thought this would be harder to find. I'm exhausted. Y'all, look at this time. It is 3.50 A to the M. I'm debating between preparing for Christmas Eve or going to sleep and waking up early. I'm playing myself if I think I'm gonna wake up early, right? What time are we supposed to be there? I need to check our group chat. I just, I want to prepare the dish I'm bringing, which is a no-bake dish. I think it's going to take like 30 minutes to prepare. I'm bringing a bunch of other pre-packaged stuff. I'm bringing Prosecco and fruit, but I also wanted to edit a video. I'm wasting precious hours of sleep. Okay, let's go to bed. <laughs> Oh, you made me feel like we could do it all over again, all over again.